Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again, live from the Street Beef's backyard. I love this promotion. They've always got a cornucopia of individuals, but right now we've got a matchup between what appears to be the neighbor of Eminem when he was growing up in the trailer parks versus... The boy, the boy, the boy, the honest truth, the real McCoy. Round one, fight. Is the punch button jammed on they controllers? They never once attempted to defend. And why is it that McCoy caught every single punch thrown? Mans look like he just skipped school to fight against a grown ass man. Plus, I'm 100% positive that Claps Moro used to fight his coworkers. He swings like he used to do overtime and his employer never gave him the time and a half. Oh Lord, McCoy's arm has been detached. He's taking full damage now. Oh. Wait, 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 just wait a damn second here. I've had it. Everyone's getting a timeout. It's up to you. Do you want to continue or not? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I hope so. McCoy's got gumption. He refuses to quit. The fight resumes. <laughs> oh, Help. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right. Body blow! Body blow! That's enough! God, that's enough! Stop it! Somebody stop the damn man! God damn, McCoy got fucked up! Let's review how this all started. From the very beginning, the spell card stop defense was already enabled. But much to McCoy's chagrin, his durability was fading by every second. His face was catching more hands than a whore's throat during a gangbang. Claps Moral traveled for this fight a day before his son's birthday just to whip somebody's ass. I said whip somebody's ass. Brothers and sisters, are you with me? I'm gonna torture somebody. I'm gonna bloody somebody. Do you understand? Me. Brothers and sisters, are you with me? And I'm gonna whip a man's ass. It's a me kicking your ass thing, and can't nobody stop. After 40 seconds of catching more knuckles than Dr. Eggman's henchmen, I don't understand how McCoy still decided he wanted to keep fighting, despite the fact that the God button doesn't work on his controller. Take a look at his eyes. He may say he wants to continue, but that's not the look of a man who wants anything to do with Claps Moro. This was a mistake. Looks like you're about to get pwned. Look at the extension on Claps Moro's punches. Left hand began its journey in Virginia and reached its destination at McCoy's face. Look at the smile on the face of the children on the right. Little man is learning all the moves to terrorize his classmates in school come Wednesday. Oh, love him, God. Somebody stop this. Next up, we've got Big Scoot taking on Quick Attack. I wonder why they call him Quick Attack. Hi -ya. Wait a minute, where the hell did that come from? Did this man just transmogrify into Roman Reigns? He's got a created character moveset. But wait, there's more. Come here. Ah, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Homie did a spinning backhand with boxing gloves on. I ain't never seen nobody do a Superman punch and a spinning backhand since Michelle Piera. Big Scoot don't know what the hell going on. <laughs> And I just noticed, did he just cancel the second Superman punch to show mercy? Who is Quick Attack? Big Scoot looking like he just got hit with supersonic. This man is perplexed. I don't know if he took physical damage or cognitive damage because he's trying to process what he just saw. Rumor has it the crowd was saying, how can you call yourself Quick Attack with a beer belly? He responded, you call that a beer belly? That ain't no beer belly. That's a fuel tank for a whoop ass machine. And I'm about to open up a can on your ass right now. Falcon kick. I got you done. Quick Attack has Ultra Instinct. Big Scoot don't know what to do. Finish him. That's enough. Oh, God, that's enough. Stop it. Quick Attack wins. Quick Attack wins. Big Scoot doing the Kaepernick challenge right now. He about to have some trouble sleeping tonight. He might need external sources to aid him. I know a couple supplements. And now a word from our sponsors. You ever wondered how to improve your brain health? After witnessing the deteriorating effects Alzheimer's had on their father and grandfather's cognitive health, brothers Chris and Joe were determined to take their brain health into their own hands. 
25 years of research and experimentation later, they created First Person, an innovative precision targeted cognitive supplement system. First Person uses 100% grain free organic mushrooms and premium natural ingredients. I struggle with insomnia. It's tough to get to sleep, but I use this moonlight supplement and now I find myself waking up well rested and ready to take on the day. First Person supplements made with functional mushrooms aim to stimulate the body's natural production of specific neurotransmitters that trigger activities like energy, mood, and sleep. And they've got products for motivation and focus, connection and joy, and deep and restorative sleep. But keep in mind, these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. So improve your brain health today. Click the link in my description and go to GetFirstPerson.com and use code CHISELED to save 15% off your very first order. That's GetFirstPerson.com. Use promo code CHISEL. Save 15% off your very first order. Let them know I sent you. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Up next, we got Herc Lee Ray versus Killer Cam. Round one, fight. Did Killer Cam just bypass the opening touch to try to punch Herc Lee Ray in the face? Yes! That's all I needed to see. This brother wakes up in the morning and looks himself in the mirror and says, I thrive off negativity. Anything negative, I'm for it. After the small tie-up, Killer Cam tried to erase what he just did by extending his right arm for a glove touch, but we saw the kind of person you are. Rumor has it he's the kind of man to take his shirt off his back to give to a friend, but he didn't tell him that he last urinated on it. Herc LeRae is standing his ground, but fatigue is starting to dominate the fight. He's become a mouth breather like he's battling sleep apnea. Oh no, Herc LeRae is woozy. Killer Cam's about to live up to his name. Finish him. to Betsy. Killer Cam got him on the ground looking like Peter Griffin. Say something, say something, say something. Talk. Talk to me, talk to me. He's already dead. Put that nigga ass in the dirt. The first two-piece declined this man's credit card transaction, and then the three-piece canceled his membership. Tell his family they don't need a casket. He's having a dirt nap right now. Never in my life have I seen a human give a worm a blowjob. What is he doing on the ground? To make matters worse, look at the referee fingers. This man was counting. You don't see he's deceased. But he getting better sleep than somebody who just purchased from Raymore and Flanagan. Somebody skin that man right now. Just turn him into a pair of cleats. He's already well acquainted with the floor. And in our last battle, we've got Ronk taking on Division. Look at the height differential. Eight inches between these men. What did he say? Be gone, fuck! We're not talking that kind of inches. Wait a minute, what the hell was Ronk doing? Did this man not load his computer? He took eight unprotected shots straight to the face. Either he's anti-guard button or he wants to prove to Division that because he's a six-footer, he feels no damage from such short human beings. Kill him. Finish him. Oh my lord in heaven, Rock got fucked up. Division gave him nothing but hands. The first exchange had homie laying on the wall like a Christmas ornament on a tree. He looked like a statue of Joe Rogan getting ready to interview somebody after getting knocked out in the cage. But he's also a victim. We all got the same reaction as the white man on the right. Why was the fight not stopped right there? Clearly Ronk wasn't in his right mind. His body may be moving, but his soul already left like Megan Fox after the second Transformers movie. Just cause you can shake your dreads doesn't mean you okay. <laughs> Rigor mortis activated. Man's got DDT'd into the shadow realm. Look at his neck. He looks like dead hand from Zelda. He needs medical attention right now. I'm apologizing him when he wake up. But I didn't mean to do none of that. I'm not like that. Division said he's going to apologize to him when he wakes up. Do you recognize how cold of an individual you got to be to say some shit like that? He took his soul from the east to the west. Back to the east. Back to the west. 
Forget Nurse Joy in the Pokemon Center. We might need Officer Jenny. We just witnessed a crime. He don't need a Sinzu Bean. Forget the regular Dragon Balls, cause Shenron and Perunga cannot save him. Somebody please call Lord Zeno, please. <laughs> Call a doctor! No, call a coroner! And welcome to your first day in the afterlife. Teach a man how to squabble! You mean to tell me you watched the entire video but you haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button! And become a member on Patreon or on YouTube to get access to the Discord. We're waiting for you in the Shadow Realm. Do it! Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Please! Please! What are you waiting for, huh? Oh my god.